let's talk about aluminum welding. Without a spool gun, without a push-pull gun, the HTP Pro Pulse 220 MTS, everybody knows we can MIG weld or pulse MIG weld with an 8-foot MIG gun. But now, I was going to see if, in the manual it says you cannot TIG weld aluminum. Well, I had to prove that wrong. And of course, then I tried to stick weld some aluminum, and that one also worked very well. So if you want to see all this, stick through this video. Okay, so we're welding here uh, aluminum 4043, a pulse program, no hot start, 2T, no slope down. Uh, contact tip to work distance approximately three quarters of an inch. And as you could hear, it was just about on the lower end of arc length. There was some occasional crackle in here, not too much. Overall settings were like a tad bit high looking at the back side. Looking at the back side, seeing how much bleed through there was. No cracking yet, but too much bleed through. Man, that looks even better. Now let's see. That is the right amount of penetration there. Nice. Just a little bit. And this is what the weld looks like here on the bottom. All right. All right. So, 4043, 035, and we're going to the double pulse. And uh, we're at 275 inches a minute. No hot start, no crater fill. 4043, 035 diameter. 40 CFH on the argon and um, 45 CFH on the argon. Contact tip to work distance roughly three quarters to one inch. So because the arc is a little bit long, what we'll do is we'll take some voltage out to shorten the arc, bring it closer to the material. Okay, because the double pulse is cooler than the single pulse, we'll also give it a little bit more, about 300 inches a minute on the wire feed rate. <laughs> And there it's all coming together. That's awesome. The Murica shirt in the background looks pretty good. Does it? Oh yeah.
So he got up to 140, was the highest. That's the initial heat start. Now he's just hovering around. Yeah. Well, that's what I love. I'm loving it. I should have videotaped that. This is nothing short of perfect. And now look at this. How the oh, thing? You are you recording? It's recording. I don't have the arc. Yeah, it's okay if you don't have the arc, but you saw how it welded. Just the perfect amount of penetration as well. Perfect feed, all peeling by itself. And then on the back side here, just these two or three little knobs where it like bled through and otherwise just a little bit print, perfect amount of penetration. Three thirty seconds rod, a little bit too small for the application, but you'll see in the arc shot it still works, it just needs a little bit rod manipulation.